Hey, Quilty friends. I'm Natalia Bonner, and I've got another fun, not machine quilting video to share with you today. So I am just like any other quilter, even though I've been doing this a long time and should never have this problem happen. This is real life. So I was using my computer and stitching out this fabulous design and walked away, which I know I should not have done. I should have stayed in there and made sure that it was stitching out right. But I'm a mom and my kids needed something. So I walked away, came back in and realized that my placement was off, that this whole entire row had stitched out where it shouldn't be. And it's not acceptable. It wasn't a design where I could just fix it or add something into it. It had to be taken out. There was no option to it. So as I was unpicking and taking out the stitches, I thought, you know what? I can unpick pretty quickly. I'm pretty fast at this. And why not share with you how I do that? How I <laughs> my technique for unpicking. So that's what this little video is today. And I hope that you find a little bit of inspiration in it, you know? Next time you have to unpick something, I hope this helps. So this is for unpicking machine quilting. So the tools that you'll need are your hands and a seam ripper. All right, so I start out by unpicking just a little bit. Now when I'm starting, I want to start where I finished stitching. So I'm actually going to be unpicking the design backwards, okay? So generally when I'm quilting on my long arm, I'm quilting from left to right. So I've stopped quilting on the right hand side of the quilt. So I will start unpicking on the right hand side and unpick right to left. Now the reason that I do this, if the design ever like crossed over itself or anything else, it will have crossed over itself after. That's the, you know, the second time around. So if I'm unpicking from the back, then I can just unpick and have a continuous line versus starting at the beginning. Then I'll have these, you know, threads that go under each other and things like that. Okay, so I start on picking a little bit, and when I create a tail that's long enough that I can wrap it around my left hand, so this is the top thread. I'm un As I'm stitching here, I'm just cutting my bobbin threads. I'm gonna keep that top thread as long as I can. So you'll see in the video, what I do is I'll get the top piece long enough that I can hold it in my left hand, and then as I'm going, I'm wrapping that thread around my fingers, just kind of holding onto it, creating a little bit of tension. I'll use my seam ripper and simply clip those bottom threads. So these are my bobbin threads, but I'm snipping them, clipping them, whatever you wanna call it, cutting them here on the top of the quilt. So I'll snip a little bit, pull a little bit on my top thread, not too tight, I don't wanna cause any damage here, but just a little bit so that a few of those seams snip or pop out. And I'll continue doing this, you know, popping those, cutting those bottom threads on the top, pulling a little bit, popping, pulling a little bit until I have all my stitching out. So this whole row right here was this Baptist fan design. I actually unpicked the whole entire row in about 15 minutes. Considering how long it can take to unpick stitching, I think it was pretty awesome and pretty quick. So I hope this video inspires you to do the same thing and try it out. Have a great day, everybody. Mm -hmm.